You're so funny. Uh, Richard Simmons, stop. No. And, like, he talks about, like, social justice issues, but he's actually, like, grew up in the and everything. somewhat comically expose you to many of the different sleep disorders, here are some more specifics on a few of the most common ones. Somnambulism, better known as sleepwalking, is the foundation of many other sleep disorders. According to the National Library of Medicine, sleepwalking most often occurs during deep, non-REM sleep. Sleepwalking is most common among children aged 5 to 12, although adults can do it too, and it tends to run in families. Although scientists are still not sure what causes sleepwalking, Alcohol, sedatives, and medications, as well as mental disorders, are potential factors. However, as long as it is not an indicator of other underlying mental disorders, sleepwalking is generally harmless. Chances are you know someone who suffers from sleep apnea since approximately 1 in 20 people are affected. Sleep apnea causes the sufferer to intermittently stop breathing during the early stages of sleep broken by a snort when the sleeper is returned to the stage of near wakefulness as the body signals a lack of oxygen. This prevents the natural progression of sleep cycles, keeping the sleeper near stage 1 and 2 throughout the entire night. If you wake up feeling like you only got a few hours of sleep after a long night's sleep, or are told you snore intermittently, then you might suffer from sleep apnea. According to the Huffington Post and People magazine, Shaquille O'Neal, Randy Jackson, Rick Perry, and Larry the Cable Guy all suffer from sleep apnea. Insomnia is a condition which causes the sufferer to be unable to sleep through the night or, in extreme cases, much at all. There are two predominant forms of insomnia, acute and chronic. Acute insomnia is more short-term and often results from stress, the environment, and various other conditions. Chronic insomnia, on the other hand, is more long-term and can be caused by depression, chronic stress, or nighttime discomfort. Medications can be taken to facilitate sleep, but in extremely rare cases, insomnia, specifically fatal familial insomnia, can kill. Commonly known as sleep talking, somniloquy has no set pattern of occurrence. It is more detrimental to anyone who lives in close proximity to those affected than the sleepers themselves. It can occur at any stage of sleep and at any age, though it is most common among males over 25 years old. The intelligibility of the speech is determined by the sleep stage in which it occurs. At stages 1 and 2, speech can take the form of whole conversations. At later stages, the speech is often more garbled, sounding like grunts, groans, and gibberish. Somniloquy can be an indicator of other psychological disorders, but not always. It could just be a random conversation with a character in a dream. Another important sleep disorder is narcolepsy. Patients with narcolepsy are overcome with the desire to sleep in everyday situations, most commonly ones that involve high levels of positive and sometimes negative emotions. This video from the Health Science Channel demonstrates the way chemical signals for sleep are picked up by different sensors in the brain. Narcoleptics have errors in this circuit board, confusing emotional cues for sleep cues. This failure to regulate REM signals causes the body to fall asleep when it shouldn't. And as if this wasn't bad enough, narcoleptic episodes can be accompanied by cataplexy, sudden loss of muscle tone, hallucinations, and temporary paralysis. There is no known cause, treatment, or cure for this disorder. Sleep apnea occurs during the deepest state of REM sleep, and the name makes the disorder fairly self-explanatory. Those who suffer from the disorder often do not remember walking during their sleep and binge eating, but some vividly remember the occurrence. Since the sleep eater is in such a deep sleep, it is often hard to wake them up, and they are usually confused upon waking. Other than packing on a few extra pounds and leaving a mess in the kitchen, sleep eating is not usually accompanied by many negative side effects. Oh, and about that homicidal somnambulism? It's real. According to the Book of Lists, there are over eight people who have been recorded as having killed in their sleep, using firearms, fighting, or mishandling infants. Many of these murderers were found not guilty because of the sleep disorder and were set free. So sleep tight and sweet dreams. <laughs>